Hi, I'm Bethan. And I'm Joe. And we live in a three bed, semi detached new build house that we bought just over a year ago. We've been doing this house up with some DIY ups and DIY downs. I'm gonna stop this camera for a minute. It's probably getting a bit stressful. Shut up! I do it how I want really to do it. All by ourselves. To be fair, we have had a lot of help from your dad. Yeah, okay, not all by ourselves. We've got one room left in the house that's been left slung away in the corner without anything done to it. Your room. My room, the office. I work at home three times a week, and as you can see, this room is just uninspiring, boring, boxy, and just not what I want. With a little bit of help from my sister and her business partner, at Viola Design, we managed to come up with some cool ideas. We finally done the office. This is the first room in the house that we painted. Interesting yeah. one. First and last room. I really gonna paint them we just had. Let's go back to when it all started. <laughs> in B Q, here to get the paint. Don't even know what colour we're gonna go for. We've got an idea. Here we are feeling super confident and all guns blazing, ready to get the paint. We went for Valspar because we'd heard it was good. And to be honest, the quality was actually really good. So we'd definitely recommend. There you go. Thank you so much. Brilliant. Thank you so much, Thank guys. You. Thanks, Thanks for your help. help. Really appreciate it. Guys, I actually think that getting paint is the most stressful part of this whole process. All of the testers just don't look yeah. how they you actually can't trust look. What they look like. No, yeah. that is the same colour. Huh? Two different photos online. How are you meant to? How are you meant to know which colour it is, or is it even either of those colours? Yeah. It's ridiculous. Anyway. So we've fingers got crossed. Pot luck. We've got one that we like. Yeah. Fingers crossed. We, we like, like the, the piece of card. Got. But if we like it on paper or on the wall or not, we'll, we'll, but we'll find out. Right, the white first paint at least is complete, or soft wool, not white. And we are literally so happy with the colour so far. How happy are you with the colour? Yeah, this colour I'm happy yeah, with, yeah. So good. <laughs> Sorry, Jay, since you're rolling. <laughs> they see me rolling. They hit him. You won't be able to see the colour. No, the you guys can't really see the colour, but it does look cool. Um, it's actually a colour that your mum's got in her hallway, isn't it? Yeah. Soft wool, if you're looking for an off-white, 10 out of 10. But slight spanner in the works. We opened the summer moss colour. I've got a feeling we've majorly messed up here, guys. No, she said it would dry it darker. I reckon, I reckon we can trust her professional knowledge. Yeah. Oh no! We start painting on the wall and we're hoping that the colour looks better on the wall than it does in the tin. And then repeatedly trying to convince ourselves that the colour looked better in person than what it did on the camera. <laughs> In this, it looks really yellow, but it isn't, I promise. We'll show you tomorrow <laughs> what it actually looks like. We That's first coat done. It's not as bad as what it looks. The yellowness will go, I think. And once we put some art on the wall, style it a little bit, it will look cool, I promise. But, yeah. Office vibes. So far, it's okay. Show you the true colour in daylight because that's probably the best bet. That we, with our eyes, that that colour was too bright. <laughs> but oh my god, like you would have just seen us putting that on the wind uh, on the wall, and we would have been thinking, oh yeah, it will dry darker. But you would be sitting there thinking, oh my god, what the hell have they done? <laughs> They've just painted their wall lime green. <laughs> oh my god, look at that! <laughs> Can you see that, guys? Oh my god. <laughs> 
We've got this so wrong. We have got this so we wrong. Get... <laughs> that is so not us. This is one of them situations where if you don't laugh, you'll cry. Yeah. We were both in the office earlier and like I think yesterday we were kind of trying to convince ourselves yeah. that we liked it. But I tagged her out <laughs> and Joe just looked at me and I just looked at him and he was like, it's awful, oh, isn't I it? And I was, like, I was like, thank God you said that. I was like, it's horrific. <laughs> well, we live and we learn. Yeah. I think we're gonna we're gonna test out some a paint that yeah. you guys keep talking about. We've royally fudged it up. We've had some <laughs> we've had some DIY fails on this on this channel, but this has got to be the worst one. <laughs> I'm just putting it out there. We ain't painting anything else. No, everything else is staying white. There's two reasons. One, we have no eye for colour, <laughs> and two, it is so much hassle. <laughs> <laughs> so after that absolute fail and waste of a weekend we decided to head over to the garden centre to cheer ourselves up or if you've watched our channel before you'll know that this definitely cheered Joe up. I do love a plant. <laughs> Two new family members. What's finger. that one called? So for these two plants that was 30 quid. How unbelievable. Oh, again. Can't get over that plant centre and how cheap it is honestly if you live anywhere near the place called Willington we don't actually live that close but it's worth the drive come and check it out Hudson's plant centre 30 quid for those plants I just can't get my head around it <laughs> right so next thing we needed to do was order the sofa bed and we ordered that from m and it's actually right behind us but you can't see it there was a couple of colours that we could have chose but we went for the top colour we also as you can see behind us did repaint the green wall and we painted it in overtly olive by Jalak which loads of you guys had already told us to paint the wall in this colour yeah, so loads. we should have we should have listened to you the first time around I don't know why we didn't get any footage of us painting it I think we were just drained from the yeah, first time yeah I think time. I did it one evening after work and I was like right I'm just gonna get it done get it on the wall and it's just forget uh, about the forget about that lime green horribleness The sofa bed that's just got delivered. This box is massive. It's not that soft. Nice though. Bethan, do you want to come have a look? Nice colour. We're going out to get some bits for the office this morning and I feel like these are the bits that I'm actually really excited for. The panelling is going to make a massive difference to the room actually. Yeah, so we're going to collect the bits to do some panelling on the back wall where Joe's desk is and we're also going to pick up hopefully like some I guess like finishing touches, like yeah. little bits of decor, pieces of photo frames. Hope you're enjoying the video so far. We haven't really done much on the on the office for how many weeks? Three or four weeks? Yeah, we haven't done much for a while. We've been, We've been waiting birthday. for stuff to like arrive. But yeah, really excited about this next part of the video because I feel like you're going to see the office kind of come together. Yeah. If you are enjoying the video, then please drop it a like. And if you haven't already, then give us a subscribe as well because we're trying to reach 10k aren't we we are our goal for the year 10k we're super grateful for anybody that has subscribed so far all the support and everything that we get from everyone is is driving us to do that so yeah. thank you everyone. yeah Thank you. 
go. How do you find something like that in every shop? Joe, please, not again. Hmm? Not again. <laughs> Should we just buy you one? <laughs> So now it's Saturday on Easter weekend and we are going to complete the next stage of the office renovation. That is this area behind here. And what are we doing here? We are going to panel it. Yeah. So we're going to panel it and then paint it the colour of the off-white sidewalks. Yeah. Today. So it's going to be the same colour as this, which is... I can't remember what it is Oh, what's the colour? Um, oh, the bow spa and it was the one that your mum's got up the hallway called... We've had a bit of an issue guys with the panelling which is so annoying but we wanted to get this video out for you guys and we also want to get the room kind of like nearly done. Uh, some of you know that my sister and her business partner came round and like gave us ideas for this room like colours, everything. They came up with the panelling of this back wall and I'm going to pop a picture up of what we kind of wanted to do and we are planning to do here but unfortunately the rib sections that you see like within the squares we can't get hold of in time. So what we thought we'd do today is we're gonna do the shaker style. So just like the, I don't know what you call yeah, it. Like we're gonna, yeah, just do like squares basically on the yeah. wall. So we're gonna do that today, paint it, and then we'll be able to get the ribbed MDF yeah. um, later in the week. If you guys watch our channel, then you'll see us do that at some point. <laughs> but we thought we'd just get as much as we can done today. Today is gonna to be a productive day in here. We're gonna get it finished. It's gonna yeah. be done. Apart from that, it's gonna be done. Yeah. We need to get this old desk in out, Joe, which is what you're currently yeah. sat on. We need to get it out. If you guys watched the previous video, you will see that I've got a new desk. It's not in this office anymore. Yeah. I've moved out of this office. Um, so yeah, we need to get this old desk out. Okay. It's a really nice unit, but it's just really cumbersome and not like cumbersome. Yeah. It's not. It's a lovely unit. It's just too well, that's big what I mean. it, 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 Yeah, it's cumbersome in this room. That's what I mean. Cumbersome is not the word. Ooh. You would have seen yesterday when we went into B&Q, we've got the set that they pre-cut for panelling. So we've got the 100 mil wide one. So it's the thinner one. 150, basically. 150. In between, like if I was to do a border all the way around, it would be 150 internal. So then you, there's one going up there, one going up there. Yeah. One going up there, yeah. one going up there. Oh, I think that would look better than one in the middle because yeah. that would just look a bit. The panels would look a bit too yeah. big then, wouldn't they? So, what I've done is just marked the internal sides and then just put a mark where each upright is going to go. So far, pretty easy. carries on with that panelling I'm just making some coffees I need to and I just thought I'd show you the prints that we picked up because if you watch the first video you'll know that we were looking on the website called Desenio which I feel like loads of people use and there were so many to choose from on there it was so hard to choose in the end I decided to go for five different prints so I'm going to show you what I've gone for. Three of them are going to go on the main back wall where we've painted it green. And then two of them are going to go nearer Joe's desk, which I'll explain later on. A lot of you guys liked the quote ones, which I feel like is good for like an office vibe. And I also thought it would be quite nice to have near Joe's desk. I feel like this print is really relevant to us because... We obviously love creating videos. We love like doing stuff in the house and that is all art to me, like making videos, DIY, like decorating. And then to complement that is one that's like a lighter color. And this one says, believe in your dreams, which I feel like is really cute. Got all of the frames from Asda, by the way, there are some really good frames in there. Um, and they weren't like overly expensive as well. And I feel like they look really solid. So we've gone for like two kind of 
oaky woody coloured ones which are the ones that are going to go near Joe's desk and then the big prints which are going to go on the back wall we've gone for this gold honestly these frames are so heavy I've had ones from Amazon before in gold that are like in the kitchen and they're really flimsy and like a bit they're not very good quality and these were like the same price and they're like proper metal and heavy so really happy with these if you're looking for photo frames would definitely recommend having a look in Asda <laughs> Joking. I actually like started wondering whether you were outside and I was like, I've just filmed this clip and you're not even there. Oh wow. Looks cool already, I don't it? That I didn't do the top and the bottom first. I should have gone all the way along the top and the bottom because it would have been less cut. So now I've got to do like little bits in between. I got halfway through this and realised that I've bought the wrong size frames for three of the prints. These lovely gold ones that I literally just showed you don't even fit the prints that I've bought, which is very annoying. I'll come back to the other prints later in the video when I've got new frames for them. Can't believe that. That is literally me all over. What is wrong with my measuring skills? Like, I actually really need to sort this out, guys. I cannot measure for the life of me. Like I thought that the prints we bought were A3, they were not A3. still over there, are you? Well, I've just come back in because I was having to try and tell my sister I couldn't get that line. Oh, okay. But she's told me to get a different one now. Right. And okay. I'm just going to grab it and then, are you done? I'm done with the squares, yeah. Are you I'm just getting just... the line and then coming back then, are you? Yeah. Okay. Right, so this light switch, I had to cut around it and it now looks a bit messy. I don't like the way that looks. So what I'm going to do is unscrew the light switch and then move it down like an inch or so and then I'll be able to put a full one across. That's the uh, finished job here and to be fair, I don't know about you Bethlehem, I think I've done a pretty sterling job of that. You have, it looks fab. You wouldn't know that that's been moved down would you? No. Much easier. Give it a light down. Oh. Uh oh. Guess what? What? <laughs> The primer is <gasps> all dried up. Stop. Is it dry? No. Oh my god, what the hell? Was it not a shot? What the hell? What the hell? Should we just make this into a rage room? A what room? Rage room. <laughs> a rage room. <laughs> ah! Smash. Push. Ah! Right, so. Oh, blimey. Um, what is that? Why has that done that? Change of plan, it wasn't, must have been, mustn't have been shut properly. So we're we just going to paint straight so over it. So change of plan, we're just going to paint straight over it. Okay. Let's just paint straight over it. It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. First round complete. First round, first coat. I like it. It's added, added a good bit of texture. Yeah. You happy with that? I'm happy with it. Yeah. It's hard to like tell what the room's gonna look like now because obviously yeah. there's, like, there's stuff everywhere again. Stuff everywhere, as usual, behind the scenes. Right, we're not gonna keep it a secret too much longer. We're actually standing in the office right now and it's in its finished state. It is. It looks so, so much, much better. better. Yeah. Should we give it a tour? Let's do it.
watching this office renovation video. If you liked it, drop this video a like and let us know in the comments what you think of it. What's your favourite part of it? I love it all, to be fair. I love it all. I actually really, I actually really love the striped cushions. Yeah. They're from Dunelm, by the way. We'll make sure we link uh, where things are from in the description box. Also, if you did enjoy the video, subscribe to our channel because we've got some exciting projects coming over the next 12 months. So if you're not subscribed, you might miss them. Hit the bell and come back next week for some more fun and games. Bye. Peace.